Hey, it's Jeff from DaringDino.com. Welcome back to another exciting tutorial. In this video, you will learn how to animate stripe textures in Blender. So here's what we're going to be creating. So let's get started right now. I'm picking right up from where I left off in the last video where we created the stripe material, and I'll link to that below or up in the top right corner. There's a lot of different things we can animate. We can animate the location of the stripes, which will move the stripes along. We can animate the rotation, which will obviously rotate the stripes. We can animate the scale, which will make the stripes get bigger or smaller proportionally. We can animate the empty if we're using the, um, the object uh, texture coordinate, which I'll show all of these things in just a second. We could animate the empty's position, scale, and rotation. We could also animate the modulo value here. We could animate the position of the flags in the color ramp. We could animate the swatch color here to change the color of each stripe. And finally, we could animate the color mode and the interpolation. And that's just the stripe piece of it. You could always animate, you know, the material settings, whatever you have after the stripe colors are being generated. So let's break it down one by one. So what happens when I animate the X location? So I'm actually going to change this to not be a 3D view. I'll just do, oh, I don't know, the outliner down here um, and switch this into rendered view. Perfect. Let's go to the beginning of our timeline and we're there. Let's go to frame one just to make sure. And let's insert a keyframe for the X location. So you do that by hovering over what you want to animate and hit I on your keyboard. So I and it should turn yellow. That means that you have a keyframe. If it's green, so if I hit right arrow to advance, you see how it's green? That means that this is being animated, but there is no keyframe where we're at right now. So let's go to the end of our animation with shift and right, which will take me to frame 50, which is the end value down here. And let's change this to be one meter and hit I on our keyboard to insert a keyframe. So now we've got two keyframes for this. So as I'm scrubbing through the timeline, you can see the position of the stripes is moving. So I'm gonna right click here and clear the keyframes because I don't want that to keep going while I'm working on the other things so that you can see what each one does. Um, the rotation obviously will animate how these are, what angle they are being shown at. So right now they're right along the Y axis. Um, so if I rotate this to be 45, I could set a keyframe for that and then go back to frame one, put zero and I'd insert a keyframe. And now if I use my right arrow key, you can start to see these stripes start to rotate. So that's pretty cool. Let's clear those free keyframes now and set this back to zero. All right, so next up on the list is the scale. So if I want to, I could make this say, well, let's insert a keyframe at the beginning. So shift left arrow, I to insert a keyframe, shift right arrow to go to the end, and let's set this to be two, two, and two. And then I to hit another keyframe. So as I'm scrubbing, all of the stripes are kind of becoming more compressed because they're scaling up. Um, it might be the exact opposite of what you expect, um, but an easy way to remember which way is which is this is kind of a number for how many times the stripes are gonna show up. So I go from one time at the very beginning, so there's one set of stripes to the at the end, now there's two. So that's very easy to remember. All right, moving right along, let's clear these keyframes. Obviously you can animate the modulo value and I kind of think this is pretty cool. So let's set a keyframe at the beginning and then let's go to the end and set it to be zero. And now insert another keyframe. I forgot to do that at the beginning. Oh no, I didn't, cool. So now as I advance through, it's almost like it's wiping in and then once it gets to something low enough, it just turns to your first stripe color. So I think this is a really cool effect. Um, I'm probably gonna be using this later on. Let's move on to the next thing that we can animate, which is the color ramp flags position. So as you have a different 
ramp flag selected, you can tell by the little top of the flag, it should be white. And if it's unselected, it should be gray. So I'm on this blue one. And then now I'm on this lighter blue and the yellow. You can hit I here and then go to the end or wherever. Change this value to be, let's say 0.5, insert another keyframe. And now as I move back and forth, this value is going to change and the stripe is going to get smaller as I move forward. Cool. So obviously you could also animate uh, the color as well by doing the same thing. Um, all you have to do is insert a keyframe and that outline turns yellow. Let me actually do it on a different flag so that you can see it. Um, let's do it on this blue one. So let's insert a keyframe here and there should be a little yellow outline on the sides there. Let's jump to the end, click in here to change the color and I'll just change the hue to be something more purplish and then I to insert another keyframe. And now as I go further along, it's becoming more purple and at the end it's really purple. So pretty cool. Be careful with this though. It might not do exactly what you think it is doing. So yeah, don't be surprised if color animation doesn't work as expected. You can also animate the color mode and interpolation. So if you want, you could hit a keyframe at the beginning here, jump to the end and make it go to linear and insert another keyframe. And then what it's gonna do is it's going to be constant until the next keyframe and then it switches into a gradient, which this gradient looks pretty nice. Um, that is pretty much all there is to it. For the video you saw at the beginning of this tutorial, all I did was animate the X location of the stripes. I also used the creating great turntable animations in Blender tutorial to animate the camera. And there's a link to that below. So that's how you animate stripe textures in Blender. Don't forget, if you want to get free resources and great tutorials like this, sign up for the Daring Dino newsletter at daringdino.com newsletter and subscribe to this channel on YouTube. Have fun playing around with these techniques and thank you so much for watching. I'm Jeff from daringdino.com and I'll see you in the next video.